Hey guys, welcome back. Just playing some Red Dead Redemption online. And I wanted to show you another fishing spot to check out. I know a lot of you guys probably already know about this spot. Uh, this particular river river's pretty popular. I know a lot of people like to fish here. But this spot on the river... Uh, just one second. I don't want to lose this lure. Alright, this spot on the lure here... Or, <laughs> this spot on the river here... You'll catch um, exclusively um, smallmouth bass. And that is if you use a lure. So if you're using worms and stuff, other types of bait, you will catch other small fish here. But uh, if you've got a lure on and you're at this spot, you're going to catch smallmouth bass. I'm going to see how quickly I can catch 10 uh, after this fish here. I'll show you where we're at. But um, the bass, uh, large and smallmouth bass, they're definitely worth it to go after. They're still worth two bucks a piece. And if you have a good spot like this spot, you can catch a lot real quickly like you can get 10 real quick and then just move on and so if you are you know just out exploring the the world here in Red Dead Redemption online and you're not near a trout spot or a salmon a salmon spot that you like you can always run to one of these bass spots and still make a lot of money real quick uh, let me show you real quick on the map where we're at so there are other spots closer to butchers to fish at, but there's so much griefing going on. It's kind of um, it's kind of hard to fish at them without getting killed, and then you want revenge, and and then you're in a whole battle. And and but if you just feel like going fishing, this is a good spot. So I know there, are, you know, there are spots along this river. Uh, I haven't tried them all out yet. Um, some people were telling me there's a good spot somewhere on this river where you can get both trout and salmon. That would be awesome. I haven't. I haven't fished it yet. I haven't found it, uh, but some someone was telling me that that would be like the ultimate spot, honestly. But I like to catch all kinds of fish in this game, mainly these this size, kind of like uh, not the the huge fish. Kind of take a long time to reel in, and you can ha you have to put them on your horse. You can only carry one at a time, so uh, they're not. You know they're okay. They're fun to reel in, but if you're if you're fishing, you know, for fun and you're fishing for the purpose of also making money quickly in this in this game, then just one second. Trout, salmon, small and largemouth bass are really the way to go. Uh, most spots that have trout and salmon, you can catch bass at. And then this spot, though, as you'll see, every fish I pull in here, smallmouth bass every single time so it's worth it to check this spot out too uh, just for some variety just for fun I'm sure a lot of you guys have been fishing this river uh, and there's spots all over the south too that are, are really great for fishing I was up in the mountains the other day fishing and um, I you know I just I still haven't found like a great spot up there and when you go hunting there's not tons of game going around so you know it's just kind of like it's fun to go up there every once in a while for a change but uh so far in terms of like if you're out fishing and or if you're out hunting for a kind of xp and you're trying to kill a lot of animals quickly kill a lot of birds uh i haven't found that it's the best place to go here we go they're coming over let's get it in a little closer to the shore So, again, I'll go over real quick. I mean, I'm using a lure, and you can see, actually, you know, I should point this out. I'm using a special river, river lure, and these lures are awesome. Um, you do have to use gold to buy them. They're expensive, but I like fishing so much, I, I don't mind spending the gold on it. I'm not at the level, I think you have to be, I'm thinking in the 40s or something, 41 maybe, to buy these with cash. So, it's going to be a while before I get there, and I, I really just couldn't wait. Um, the special river lure and the special lake lure and swamp lure, they're like four gold bars, which is just crazy. But honestly, I don't really have anything else to spend the gold on, so I'd rather put it into fishing. And, oh, just always remember when that fish is fighting, don't reel splashing in the water for a little bit and then just reel in like crazy. And if you get the... You know, if you catch the fish close enough to the shore, you only have to worry about it fighting one time, and then you reel in quickly and, and you got it. 
but these special lures are great because um, I find out they're even, you know, they're a lot better at night, of course, but then even in the day, they're good. So um, if you just have the river lure, if you don't want to waste that much gold on lures, if you're not into fishing that much, I don't blame you. Just, I would still recommend spending one gold bar on the river lure and the lake lure, at least. But as you can see here with these smallmouth bass, every single time it's it's like a good sized fish. They're two bucks a piece. And you can usually get ten in like five, six minutes. And it's it's easy. These lures, um, the fish really follow them in. So like uh the bass will you can reel in pretty quick and the bass will still grab the lure. But like if you bring it in pretty quickly, it's no problem. You can kinda see the fish coming in after it. Oh, I pulled up on that too quick. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the, um, I haven't really tested it against the regular lures. I maybe should do some testing to see how much better the special lures are versus the normal lures. Um, I just wanted the biggest advantage I could get when I'm fishing. So it Sometimes I just don't have a lot of time to play the game. And if I am just kind of like out here farming, trying to get as much money as I can, then, you know, you just want it to go as quick as possible. I have another cool lure, the spinner, and that one is great in the daytime at another spot. Because even though those fish aren't worth a lot, you catch them so quick that it is still worth using that lure and fishing with it. I'll put a video out on that too, show you guys what I'm talking about. So you have some good places during the day to fish and still you don't have to wait until night for the best fishing. That might have been 10. I haven't been keeping track. Let me just go try to go another one here. I know you guys kind of get the point here, but I'll show you real quick too on the map one more time where we're at. Whoa, that was cool. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that was number 11 there. So I don't know, that probably only took five or six minutes to catch all of those. That's 20 bucks worth of fish. It goes by quick. And uh, best time is at night. Remember, don't lose those lures. And also remember, you can use this when you push in on both of your um, R3 and L3. You can see fish in the water. If you're ever wondering, you know, where you should cast next, it sometimes is a good way to do that. So you guys have probably fished this river a lot, same as me. I'm um, trying to find all the awesome spots, but there are so many on this river, and I'm still looking for that spot I, I keep hearing about that has both so, uh, salmon and trout. Uh, but this one, um, you'll load up on bass here, so check this one out. And um, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Take care.